In this tutorial, we will be covering advanced equipment animation techniques to create a more detailed simulation of your 4D workflow. Let's begin with keyframe pathing. We'll start by placing our equipment at its starting point. If you don't know how to place equipment, please watch the Equipment Placement and Pathing tutorial. You can find a link to this tutorial in the video description below. Select a part of your equipment to access your keyframe controls and click the Add button to add a new keyframe. With your new frame selected, click the Move Vehicle button located at the upper left of your keyframe controls. Your equipment will snap to the end of your mouse cursor. Click a new location to place your vehicle. The new location is now tied to your selected keyframe. Repeat this process to create additional keyframed positions. Hold Shift to rotate your vehicle and update your equipment part positions as needed. Drag the scroll bar or select individual keyframes to scrub and fine-tune your animation. To review your finished animation, click the play button. To decrease the speed of a segment of your keyframe animation, select the frame at the segment's start point and drag the slider bar partway to the following node, then click insert. Fuser's construction equipment can also grab and release objects. To grab an object, first select the frame in which you want to grab the object. Next, click the Grab Object button. Your cursor will change to an eyedropper. Objects hovered over by the eyedropper will turn red. When the object you want to grab turns red, click on it to select it. The object will now be placed in a default grab position on your equipment. To reorient the grabbed object on your equipment, click the Move Object button in your keyframe controls. Use the gimbal controls to change your object's orientation and position, and click Finish to confirm its position. To release an object, select the frame in which you want to release it. Then, click the Release Object button. Once released, the object will return to its initial position. Please note that objects can also be grabbed from other equipment. To do this, simply follow the same procedure as before. First, select your grab frame from the second equipment. Next, click the Grab Object button and select the object loaded onto the first equipment. Reorient the object as needed using the Move Object button. Finally, select your release frame and click the Release Object button to release the object. To avoid grab and release replay issues, make sure the first equipment releases the object on the same frame as the second equipment grabs it, or shortly thereafter. Now that we've covered how to keyframe path equipment and grab and release objects, let's combine the two into an equipment task. First, let's create an equipment task and add in our equipment. If you are unfamiliar with equipment tasks, please watch the Adding Equipment Tasks tutorial. You can find a link to this tutorial in the video description below. Once this is complete, click the Play button to view the animations. The equipment will begin animating when the task starts. If the loop box on your equipment is unchecked, your equipment animation will stretch to the full duration of the task. If the loop box is checked, the animation will repeat at the selected multiplier speed until the task duration completes. To match the timing of looping equipment in the same task, make sure their animations have the same number of frames.